tired, Dad? Yeah, a little. Sure is a lonely road. Nice try, but no. Oh, come on, Dad. Let me drive. I know how. Yeah, you can navigate. Oh, a great navigator. When I was your age, I was a terrific navigator. Get that over. Dad, look out! Hey, hey, hey! Here. What the hell happened? I just about hit you. You're lucky to be alive. I, I, you're right. You're right. It's, it's totally my fault. I heard you coming and I just didn't want you to miss me. Well, is everything okay? Uh, yeah. You? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Hey, look, I I'm real sorry. A deer ran out in front of us and I swerved to miss it. And, well, you can see for yourself. I, at least Molly and I are okay. I, I tried to back up, but it looks like I just dug ourselves in deeper. This is my wife, Molly. Hi. I'm Woodrow Lovell. Dennis Conway. Nice to meet you. Car. This is my son, Nick. I thought I told you to stay in the van. Maybe the four of us could push you back on the road. Well, I think it's in a little bit deeper than that, so. Well, I, I have some uh, chains in the trunk if you wouldn't mind hitching us to the back of your van. Mm, I'll take a look. Why is it that what you're looking for is always on the bottom, huh? If you could take that, Molly. Careful, careful. You know what? We can do this, okay? You better hurry. You better rain. Just relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. Okay. Okay, Woodrow. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'm not a very good traveler. Well, my dad and my grandma started me young. Every summer, we would take a trip out west. Lucky boy. I wish I'd seen more of the world. Heavens, you were kind enough to help. I don't know what we would have done without you. No trouble at all. Not bad, eh? Well, that's a Chevy, huh? You got the chain? <laughs> it worked. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, this is a pallet in great shape. Is it a 60, 61? Yeah, it's a 61, that's right. You into vintage cars? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Forgive me for being so rude, but we're so far behind schedule already. Oh, no trouble. Uh, we gotta find a place to stay tonight, too. Nothing we can do? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I hope your journey's a good one. Thanks again. Yeah, you too. Take care now. Drop it off for him. All right. Come on. something gruesome in it and they wanted us to find it so we get blamed for the murder come on dad admit it weren't they a little weird what do you mean they were though <laughs>
can't drive anymore. What do we do now, Woodrow? We don't have a contingency plan. I don't know, but I'll think of something. I just can't go any further. Don't. We have to keep going. Otherwise, they'll find us. Evening. Can I see some identification, please? Yeah, sure. Just gonna drop off the duck. Here you go. Evening. Hi. White Plains, New York? Yeah. You're a long way from home, Mr. Conway. Yeah, I'm uh, on vacation with my son. Didn't know you needed a permit for that. Is there a problem or something? Nope. Look, uh, just found this duffel. And the uh, tag on it said 54 Glover Road, so I just, you know, just tried to do a favor and drop it off. You found that bag where? Uh, well, the couple here, uh, Molly and Woodrow, they, uh, they had some car trouble up in the mountains. What kind of trouble? Oh, well, they got stuck. I mean, it wasn't an accident. Nobody got hurt. But uh, when they drove off, they left the duffel, so. Well, I'll make sure they get it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is our house, right? Yes, it is, but no one's home. Yeah, when we drove up, the, the lights were on. Well, it's probably just an automatic timer. Yeah. Thank you for your help, Mr. Conway. You and your son have a safe trip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, could you point me in the direction of the closest motel? Yeah, there's one about 50 miles south in Lexington. Good night. about? Yeah, small town cops, too much time. We're running on fumes. So how long are we going to stay here? Well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> as soon as that gas station opens down there, we'll get gas, grub, and we'll hit the dusty trail. Sounds good. 
There's no camping here, Mr. Conway. Well, we got no choice. Uh, unless there's another gas station open in town. I didn't think so. Josh, the man's in a bind. Show him some hospitality. Mr. Conway, where did you say you found the duffel bag? I didn't. It's down Highway 281, about 100 miles from here. Gas station opens 8 a.m. Good night. Enjoy your evening. Just about that duffel bag. Are you all right? Look at me. Look at you. I don't want to be like this. Do you want to go back? to be yesterday. <laughs> Good morning, Springville, USA. It's a nice little town, isn't it? Yeah. No, I think we should sleep in the camper every night. I feel great. Me too. Yeah, we're just gonna make it. Take over with that carburetor for me. Yeah, get something to get, would you? Let's show on the road. Mm. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Hey. Hey. That vet could sure use some attention. Yeah. Yeah, it's been hanging over my head for years. One of those projects I'm going to get to someday. Oh, yeah. I got a few of those myself. Fill her up? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, can you recommend a good place where we can grab some breakfast? Breakfast? Yeah. Emma's Diner. There's no competition. Yeah? Probably no other diner either, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You're obviously married. You hungry? Yeah. Me too. Morning. Hey. Hello. Coffee? Please. I haven't seen you in here before. You get lost or are you just passing through? I'm just passing through, thanks. <laughs> Do you make your pancakes from scratch? Is there another way? My grandma used to make them from scratch. She would use chocolate chips and bananas, too. <laughs> that sounds good. I'm going to ask Wilma to do exactly that. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Will your wife be joining us? Uh, no. I'd like the uh, toast and the fresh fruit, please. Sure. The up in a flash. Thanks. Hey, Dad, how come everyone's checking this out? Because we're the two new guys in town. <laughs> I don't know. They probably don't get that many people passing through. We're pretty far off the beaten track. Mm. No wedding band and no wife in the parking lot. Well, Emma, I hate to burst your bubble, but he'll be gone by noon. That kid's pretty good. I can do better than that. Thank you. 
Go ahead. All right, thanks. I'll call you when the food's ready. Mr. Conway? Hey. So Nick's gonna be fine, but his left tibia and his fibula are broken. Tibula? The bones in your lower leg. Otherwise, he's okay. Yes, but there's a lot of swelling, so we're gonna have to wait till it goes down before we can cast. How long? Well, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the day after. She'll have to stay put until then. I guess river rafting's out. I guess so. Now, if you get your cast wet, a very itchy, stinky, gross mold will eat away all of your skin. Dr. Weston's a fine doctor. Show him fixed up as good as new, right, Sophie? I'll try. You have a moment, Mr. Conway. We'll need a statement. Insurance, you know. Uh, what do you need? I have all the paperwork down at the station. All right, I'll stop by later. So, this doesn't hurt, does it? Not that much. Okay. It's them, all right. Susan Alexander, I dare you. <laughs> Susan, you've got to hit the board. birthday, Molly. I got. Ow! Oh, sorry. 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 No 
way, issue two? Yeah, original, not a reprint. And the Violator's a great bad guy. So no motel in town, I was told. No, not for years. Well, it's all right. I slept fine in the camper last night. Oh, you're welcome to sleep in the bed right across from Nick. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. It's, uh... It's Dylan. Dennis. I'll check on him throughout the day, but he'll be fine. Yeah, the Conways are allergic to hospitals. <laughs> you know, you look like you could use some fresh air. Take a walk, clear your head. No, I'm okay. So we always got the new guys right there? Oh, yeah. No, seriously, like, I was in here, I would totally get them yeah. the There's no need to feel guilty. You've got them covered. <sighs> I could use a run. There you go. Yeah, awesome. Try the woods north of town. Watch out for bears. <laughs> A freelance writer. He's been a single father since his son Nick was three. That's what it's like out there. Well, sometimes I forget how lucky we are. His mother died last year after a long bout of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Where are you getting that? Uh, Mr. Conway. Oh, uh, call me Dennis. You probably know everything about me already anyway. Where do you get the information? It's available to law enforcement through the NCIC, the FBI database. Well, may I ask why? We like to know who's visiting. You don't miss a trick, do you? Oh, thank you, Mr. Conway. We do our best. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? According to the truck driver, the accident was just a combination of unfortunate circumstances. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to sue anybody if that's what you're worried about. You want me to sign the release? No problem. Great. I'm sorry things worked out this way, Robert. Well, Mom and Dad made their own choices. Some of them weren't the best. This belonged to them, too. signing death certificates. Everything by the book, Sophie. Including socializing with tourists. I'm just doing my job, Josh. Robert. Dennis Conway. Uh, sorry, I, I thought you were Woodrow. This is his car. So uh, no, it's mine. Woodrow was my brother. He had one exactly like it. So he's, he's back in town then. D did he get the duffel bag that I found? Unfortunately, he won't be needing that now. Oh. It was a terrible accident. Head-on collision. But there's not a scratch on it. And I told you this is my car. Theirs was totaled. Well, I, I'm very sorry. It's, it's terrible to lose family. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, I could use some privacy. I'm still in a bit of shock. Of course. I'm terribly sorry. It's OK. I told him Dad was my brother and the car belonged to me. And I think he bought it. He's harmless, Josh. He'll be gone soon. I'm just saying that if he isn't, 
we're gonna have a problem. Excuse me. You guess? This car's been hanging around for 40 years, collecting dust. What, what's the urgency now? Conway. You know the guy whose kid saved Dylan? Came by. Got me thinking about things I keep postponing. Uh-huh. Yeah, but what the heck, it can't hurt to look her over. See what needs to be done. In case I get motivated to do it. <laughs> you all right about tomorrow night, Gus? You sure you can do it? I said yes, didn't I? I don't understand how you two can act like it's just any other night. It doesn't bother you in the least. Carol. Well, we all know the truth. Why can't we talk about it? All right, Jack. Truth. No regrets, no second thoughts? Not a one. What about you? That's not allowed, Mr. Conway. What's the problem now? Well, this is private property. I didn't see any signs. Well, the people that live here don't need signs to know where the boundaries are. <laughs> you keep a lot in your head, don't you? The big stuff, yeah. I'll drive you to town. Mariners fan? McGuire's chasing the record again. You ever see him hit? Powerful. Yankee fan myself. Yeah, Yankee Stadium. House that Ruth built. Well, before Steinbrenner. Yeah, it's pretty exciting to watch those guys knock him out. Eh? Griffey, he does it almost every game. I always watch, hoping he's going to wail another one out, you know. A little bit of history. You watch baseball? Okay. Uh, can you drop me off over there? You know you really ought to catch a game? I saw the babe hit number 60, you jerk. Don't waste any time. Woodrow and Molly. Yes? Say, uh, how come there are no dates on any of the headstones? We know when they died. Uh huh.
Doc? Hey. Initial business? Woodrow and Molly's paperwork. I just faxed it to the state recorder. No, Sophia wouldn't have mattered. The level staying or leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell myself. But I saw their bodies. And? And they weren't the way we knew them. They were so old. So isn't it better what happens here? Instead of just leaving it to chance? I don't know, Gus. I mean, it just seems our tradition isn't exactly very humane either. <clears throat> Easy. Easy. Yeah. Conway, you talk to him much? I bet. Oh, wow. Oh. I know that look. No, it's <laughs> nothing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I hope for his sake he puts Springville behind him. Yeah, for his sake. Did you see what there is to see of Springville? Yeah, seems like a decent place to live. I'm starving. Have you had dinner? Uh, no, but... Uh... Don't worry, the night shift's on duty. We'll just be out front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so <laughs> Gus just runs out of the hospital, still in his hospital gown, <laughs> right out into the woods. Do you mind if I ask you a personal question that is absolutely none of my business? Fire away. Where's Nick's mom? Hmm. He didn't see the police report. Oh, I thought they made copies for everyone. In their minds, they're just protecting the town. They mean well. My wife died of cancer when Nick was three. My mom was helping me raise him. Was? Yeah. She passed away a few months ago. She'd been suffering from Alzheimer's for the past few years, so. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know, before the disease, she was smart, she was adventurous, great sense of humor. Then she slowly turned into somebody I didn't know. How's Nick coping? We pray about it sometimes, you know, that gets him talking. I think he's gonna be okay. I lost my son. I can't imagine that. That must be unbearable. Never stops hurting. But life goes on, and things change. Mind if I ask you a personal question, which is absolutely none of my business? Fire away. <laughs> Are you married? Not anymore. Done. Clinic administrator. I'm very sorry about your son's accident. Oh, thank you. So, how's our young patient this morning? Are we ready to give him his walking papers? I can't cast him till tomorrow at least. Well, there must be something you can do. Mr. Conway's been more than patient. Well, not without jeopardizing Nick. Right. Well, we wouldn't want that. I have an idea. Since the accident occurred in Springville, the city could pay to have Nick transported to the hospital in Lexington. They have much more sophisticated equipment there. Oh, I think we'd rather stay here, thanks. Really? It's your decision, Mr. Conway. Sophie, can we speak privately? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Dad, yeah. I think she's got a crush on you. Yeah? What makes you say that? Because she's always coming to check up on me. Well, maybe she's got a crush on you. No. It's the way she looks at you. How does she look at me? Like you're the only one in the room. That's good. Sophie, this is completely unacceptable. We have to cast that kid today. 
I can't. We'll have to go through the whole thing again. He may never even heal properly. What about tonight? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Oh, come on, Carol. We've been through this before. You always said you were going to be there for me. I know, Jack. But I can't. I don't want to let you down. But I just can't. I understand. <laughs> I understand. One of those logs bounced off your head. Hmm? It sure feels like it. I'm proud of you. You risked your life to save that kid. I didn't even think there wasn't time. You got good instincts, thank God. Mm. Wow, you look great. Thank you. Did <laughs> you got a hot date? No, just a business thing, fundraiser for the clinic. Tell you the truth, I wish I didn't have to go. Did you then? I can't. Can I interest either of you in dessert? Ah, uh, that depends. Is it from the diner? Even better. I made it myself. You made this? Mm-hmm. Boil the water and open the box. Choco's my favorite. Well, enjoy. I've got to run. Um, uh, hey, am I going to, uh, see you later? Probably not. These political things tend to last forever. Goodbye. Goodbye. no way she's got a crush on me. You are so wrong. Grandma taught me how women work. Did she? She said that she tried to tell you, but you couldn't catch a clue. <laughs> are we okay to go? Sleeping pills worked. Are you sure? Yes, Tim, they'll be sleeping till morning. Get over here as soon as you can. I was thinking, just to be totally safe, maybe I should stay here. You can't. We need you here. I've got a feeling Jack might need help. All right. Happy birthday, Jack. Thanks. Where's Carol? She changed her mind. I'll be there for you. There he is. Happy birthday, Jack. <laughs> Let's get you a drink. Ooh, I second that. There's the man. Happy birthday, Jack. Where's Carol? Everyone, it's time. Who will help our friend to cross the spring? I will. I'll be his guide. Jack Pendergast. It is first light on the day commemorating your birth in Springville in the year 1900. Happy birthday, old friend. Happy birthday, Jack. May your journey be a good one. Let's do it.
This is no problem. Hmm? We'll take care of her, all right? Make it quick. I'll do my best. May your journey be a good one. Dr. Weston. His journey has begun. Here is Dad. Mm -hmm. Joe Tishner. I was driving the logging truck. Oh. I'm sorry about your leg, Nick. My insurance company told me not to come by, but I wanted to see how you were doing. It's okay. What time is it? It's, uh, it's about 10.15. It's just, every time I make a run to Springville, it gives me the creeps. Things aren't the same here. How's that? Weird. Like, for instance, I... May I help you? Oh, just visiting, ma'am. I better scoot. <laughs> you take care, son. What did he want? I stopped by to check up on Nick. It's pretty decent of him, I thought. <sighs> People around here are decent, Dennis. Are you okay? You don't seem like your normal, healthy jogger self this morning. Didn't you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a rock. I feel like I got hit in the head by one, but yeah, I slept good. Dad, I'm really hungry. Yep. Could you get me some of those pancakes? Yeah, that sounds good. I could use a pot of coffee myself. You want something, Sophie? No, but thanks for asking. Gas station, right? Dennis Conway? Mm. Gus. How you doing? 
Well, my best friend died this morning. Guys, I'm sorry. Jack and I were best friends ever since he beat me up in kindergarten. After I cold cocked him. My first wife and I used to double with him and Carol. How did he die? A natural, uh, peaceful. He was your best friend? Yeah. Jack was what they call young at heart. Here's Nick's special pancakes. You tell him Emma sends a big hug. Thanks. Is there anything I can do? Maybe we can make some progress on that vet before I go. What do you say? Why bother? There's not enough time to finish it up. All right. Take it easy. What are you doing? I don't know. You didn't say anything. Oh, I didn't know myself until I checked him over. Nick wanted it to be a surprise. I'll be done in ten minutes. Okay, well, um, I'll uh, leave your pancakes right here, okay? And, uh... You want me to stay, or are you okay? Oh, no, I'm okay. Okay. Well, I've got a few calls to make anyway. Is there a phone I could use somewhere? Well, you use my office. It's right down the hall. Thanks. to inform you, your son. How's Nick? Great. He's back in his room if you want to see him. Yeah, of course I would. Um, but first I want to know something. Sophie, what were the Roaring Twenties like? And was the Great Depression really that depressing? And uh, what was worse? Was... Uh, was it World War One or World War Two? And and were the fifties just as, as bland as they say? Because you know you you look like you're having fun and there's a really good. Went through my personal what, things. What the hell is going on, Sophie? Who are you? What are you? What am I? Yes. What do you think? I. Well, you look damn good for a woman of about eighty. 
Sophie! I can't tell you. I swore an oath on my life. Well, that must be one hell of a secret. It's a choice. A choice? As in, do I choose to haul water on a trip like the Lovells did, or do I choose to keep strangers away from a certain mountain spring, or what? The closer what? you get to this, the more danger you and Nick are in. Nick and I can take care of ourselves. We don't need your protection, okay? If you really care, Sophie, show me what the water can do. Catch me if I fall. Just a few more steps, Nick. All right, here I go. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Right here. Are you ready, Nick? Be careful. Okay. Nick, I need you to be real still. Dennis, we're going to help him into the water. OK, let's get in the water. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, put your arm around my shoulder. Oh, okay, easy. We have to be careful. Go. All right. Wow. I feel good. Yeah? Okay, okay, Nick. Put it in there. Now dive as deep as you can. Damn. You just may be. As soon as people see Nick, they'll know we've been to the spring. It's amazing you've kept this quiet as long as you have. Well, we take our oath very seriously. Never thought I'd be the one to break it. How do you justify keeping the secret? We all believe that if we shared the spring with the world, wars would be fought over it, or millions of people would come here, hoping, leaving their garbage behind. And what we have would be destroyed for everyone. Nothing would be gained. So the um, people of Springville get it all because you were lucky enough to be born here, right? The occasional outsider is invited to stay. I want to stay. You don't know everything. It doesn't last forever. Well, how long? 100 years. Well, that's what we decided. How do you decide something like that? People aren't meant to live forever, Dennis. We're in a natural cycle of life. It's... So what happens? At dawn on the day of your 100th birthday, you no longer drink the water, and there's no exceptions. Hell of a way to spend your birthday. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so how old are you? In my heart, I'm 17. What do you think about settling down here? I don't know. Why, are you thinking about it? Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 this is all premature. It's not up to you, Dennis. Maybe we should go inside. When can I go outside and rollerblade? Hold on there, sport. I want you to be a part of this. You know, I'm sure if I present my case, they'll invite us to stay. Well, Dad, I never said I wanted to stay. Whether they do or not comes down to commitment and trust from both of you. You need to think this through very carefully. Yeah, like, what about all my friends in New York? And your job. What about your family, your friends? Aren't they going to wonder? Well, Nick is my only family. I can write anywhere. 
There's no reason for us to go back to New York. There's nothing holding us there. Except it was my home. Here it comes. Good afternoon, Josh. I was expecting you. You want it down at Town Hall, Sophie. You need to stay here, okay? I'm coming with you. You're not a citizen. Best of you, sir. Just be honest. You're going to have to stay here. Oh, my chance to speak. I'm sure you do. Megan, make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Admit that you told him about the spring. I didn't. Dennis, Mr. Conway had already figured most of it out. So you filled in the missing pieces? I had no choice. That's not entirely true, Sophie. You had a little something to do with it. You've been encouraging him since he showed up. Emma, even if I were lucky enough to fall in love at my age, I would never risk the lives of my friends. I believe you, Sophie. But can we trust him, though? That's the well, real... Yes. For heaven's sakes, Robert, he came here to return your parents' bag. He's not a man who could hurt someone for profit. I mean, he, he would never sell out our secret for money. You don't know for sure. Does he know about Jack's birthday party? I wanted to tell him, but Nick was nearby. He won't be 18 for five years. They all know anyway. If we vote no, what happens to him? You know the covenant. We can't punish him like someone who purposely broke the covenant. Besides, we have Nick to consider. He hasn't done anything wrong. No matter how nice they may seem, any unknown element poses a threat. He won't tell anyone if we let him stay. Josh, what do you think? They've agreed to let you speak for yourself. Why do you want to stay in Springville? What do you want from us, and what are you prepared to give? Well, I want a safe world for my son to grow up in. I'd rather he not experience the kind of pain or disease that my wife and mother had to. I want Nick to reach his potential and then to go beyond that. That's what you want for your son. What do you want for yourself? That's all I want for myself. Now, you're not being honest, Dennis. Everyone wants something. My wife died when she was 24. There was nothing I could do to stop her pain or her death. After that, the future for me was an illusion. Everything could be just snatched away in a heartbeat. I had two people to love, my son, my mother. I wasn't about to risk loving anybody else. Until now. Now? I don't think it's an accident that I'm here in Springville. Are you prepared to commit yourself and your son to the covenant of this town? Yes, I am. What do you think? It's not my job. Mr. Conway? Yeah. Mr. Conway, the council has decided, although not unanimously, to grant you and your son conditional residency in Springville. Oh, thank you very much. So, conditionally, welcome to Springville. Ah, welcome to Springville. <laughs> you know, you've actually got me believing we might get my vet running after all. <laughs> That's good. You know, I kind of 
feel sorry for you growing up around old people. You guys make it sound like it's a disease. I mean, I like old people. I love my grandma. Yeah, well, I love mine, too. Oh, well, nice! how old is she? Uh, I don't know. See, at least if I didn't know how old somebody was, I had a general idea, you know? Yeah. Uh, what's it really matter, though, you know? So you know how to treat them nicer. Why, you treat everybody else lousy? No, just the geeks. No, I mean, it's like, where's the order of things? Who can you hang out with? Who's gonna get your music? Not have to be about your clothes? Yeah. Well, you know, I get your music. That's because we're the same age, right? Right. Uh, well, I don't remember, but they uh, told me I was 13. <laughs> well, I don't remember being born, so I guess that's what they tell me, too. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, help me out with one of these suitcases, huh, Prince? Hey, Dylan. Oh, That's thanks. How about the Olga? <laughs> of course. Hi, Sophie. Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. You sure this is all right? Oh, no, it's a big house. I got plenty of room. It'll be nice to share it with somebody. All right. Well, just till something else opens up. In Springville, it could be a while. <laughs> you want a little help with that? Oh, I think I can manage. You sure? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't trust that Conway as far as I can throw him. Not trusting Conway's a given. What about Sophie? Can we still trust her? Well, this smells great. Emma's a wonderful cook. I'll have to warn you, though, I am terrible. Did you ever leave Springville for any length of time? Yes, I left when I went to med school, after my son died. It's too painful to stay here. What happened? Why couldn't the water keep him safe? Well, he enlisted during World War II. It was his photograph in your desk. Yeah. Is his father still alive? His father was Gus. Gus? Gus and I were high school sweethearts. Really? We got married when we were young. Even if we were perfect soulmates, I don't think we would have lasted the 82 years. And when a child dies, for us, it was the end. Mm, yeah. I promised myself after that that I would live in the moment. But um, I haven't. Why not? Right now, I, I can't imagine. I don't want to lead you on. <laughs> you already have. <laughs> hey, you. Looking sharp. So, I hear you're staying at Sophie's. Word travels fast. I hear you were her husband. That I was. You never forget your first, Dennis. Sophie was my great love. She's a special lady. Uh, she is. She, she talks like the very idea is preposterous, two people being in love for 82 years, but I could have stayed in love with her if she would have let me. It's the car you had with her? I know, this car was Elvis, you know, and Buddy, the 50s. Every decade had its moments. I enjoyed every one of them. So you feel like getting your hands dirty? What do you need? One of these. of the open road, eh?
Josh. What's up? Wasn't speeding, was I? Where are you going? Uh, Lexington. Gus and I are working on his vet and he needs some spare parts, so... You can get those online. <laughs> I wish I could. I'm gonna have to hit at least a half a dozen junkyards just to get what I need. You're not hearing me. Turn your vehicle around and return to Springville. You serious? Mr. Conway, right now you are a provisional citizen. That means you have absolute freedom, as long as you abide by our rules. Have a good day. You know, I never say I told you so, but I think we just moved to hell. Now you know something else about the water. Mm. I think I'm going to be very clean in Springville. <laughs> mm. You all right? We'll never get it done. I think we will. It just takes time. I really wanted to see her finished. Dennis, it's my birthday in two days. My hundredth. So you're just going to stop drinking the water then, just like that, right? Uh, no. No, not, not exactly. Well, what then? Gus? Gus, hey, man. Gus! Ah, so, man. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no. We got to get you to the clinic, bud. Uh, it's a dumb thing to do. We could go to the spring, bathe it in the water. It's strongest near the source. Gus said he had a birthday coming up. How come you never mentioned that? Maybe I was trying not to think about it. Yeah, well, it got me thinking. I remember what you said about you and Gus being high school sweethearts and how you married young. And then it hit me. You're probably going to be 100, too. Am I right? More or less. You didn't think this is something that we should maybe talk about? Nothing we say will make any difference. I told you it wouldn't last forever. Yeah, well, I just didn't think it would fall apart so quickly. Oh, there you are. Hi, Sophie. Hi. How's your hand? Uh, it's been better. Would you mind if I talk to Dennis alone? No, I'm done. Okay. What's up? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> you know, this entire town is counting on it. I quit drinking the water. How come? Hmm. Like I told you, see what old feels like, you know, before my birthday. I don't know what's going to happen exactly or how long. Gus, why don't you just leave, you know? And ruin 100 years of integrity? Uh, it's time to pay the piper. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, it's you know? not like I've been cheated out of anything. If I hadn't been born in Springville, I probably would have died years ago. And what's the downside of doing it like this? Knowing my time and place? Oh, yeah. It gives you a chance to prepare, get your things in order. Yeah, but they never are. You know? They never are. It's like this car. <laughs> You're coming to my birthday party. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. A good thing about Springville is, if I screw up doing a trick, I could just go and heal myself in the spring. That's a good thing, right? Right. All right, what else? 
Dad, that's it. There's nothing to do here. What about your friend, Dylan? You've got a good buddy there. Yeah, but I lost about 20 back in White Plains. I mean, Dad, just because you're a loner doesn't mean I have to be. Hey, hey. I said loner, not loser. Look, Nikki. Sometimes life gives you these opportunities, right? And you got to grab them, or they just, they leave. They're gone. I know the transition's going to be hard, but I think living here is going to be better for us. You know what I wish? Yeah? I wish I had never told you to make friends with Sophie, because if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. You don't know that. And besides, it's not you that made it happen. You know, if you did this for me, I don't want it, and you know that. So since you did it for you, you're selfish. How's Gus's party come together? It's gonna be great. I guarantee it. Anything special? We do have a suggestion. Dennis, I'm not sure you really understand what happens here. There's Gus. good behind the wheel of that car, old fella. You made it. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, she turned out great. with that. All right. Out there All cutting right. the rug. <laughs> Enough of this stuff and anyone's a hero. <laughs> Everyone, it's time. Oh. <clears throat> you take care of Sophie. Hmm? Of course I will. This is for you, too. Yeah. You think of me from time to time, hmm? While you're making new memories? <laughs> Who will help our friend Gus cross the spring? What are you talking about? 
I told you they stopped drinking the water, but that's only part of it. Tell me the rest. Dennis Conway will do it. to stay and we let you this is what you chose what we all have to do Gus ask them to pick someone else they'll listen to you please no come on Dennis Jack Pendergrass has a head start on me is this really what you want everybody dies nobody wants to Tell me what to do. And yeah, when Mayor Wantanabe says, you hold my head under. God bless you, Gus. Stay low. It is first light on the day commemorating your birth in Springville in the year 1900. Happy birthday, old friend. Happy birthday, Gus. Yes. You may help Gus cross the spring. Are they getting in? Is he gonna kill him? No, no, he, he couldn't. No, I won't do this. I won't do this. Gus, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Good. Yes, I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. It's no, over. no, it's not over. It's not over. This is unacceptable. Do you see what your boyfriend is made of? You think he's gonna stick around now? He doesn't care, he never did. The McLean boy's here! Let him go, I got it covered. Doesn't that tell you something? You won't let your own children see this. This is murder. You have no authority. You have to finish. Do it, Dallas. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Sophie! 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 We can't just let him go. He knows too much. Let him go. Josh has it under control. I don't know what to do. Nick, you all right? Yeah, Dad. Let him go. I'm sorry, Dennis. By the time I got here, he already had Nick. It's all right. Get in the car. Josh, what are you doing? You broke the covenant. You couldn't even drown an old man. Get in the car. Do what he says, Nick. He's got nothing to do with. We're just going to be on our way. You made a commitment that included your son, and you broke it. Hell of a father. <laughs> You should have joined us, Conway. When you get older, your son gets cancer, you were gonna wish that you could come back. Now get up and get in the car. Hey! <laughs> 
Josh. Josh, don't move. Go get my bag. It's inside by the stairwell. I was... He's going into shock. He's losing a lot of blood. We gotta get out of here. No, even if you leave, they'll hunt you down just like they did with the levels. Not like they do with anyone. I'm not staying here with my son so they can kill us. You gotta help me get him to the spring. Shh. Does that save him? Maybe. Shh. Dad? All right. We'll take him to the spring. Just And spring billows the Conway's two lives. Let him go. Don't count on another chance, Conway. going to be a hundred soon. What better reason than that? I have four years left. And I belong here. I don't want to leave without you. I'm as much a part of the Springville as if it's a part of me. I only exist like this here. I never thought I'd love again, Dennis, and I have you think. Go. Go and live the way nature intended. Bye, Nick. Bye. Are you going to hunt them down? No, I won't. Even if I wanted to tell, nobody will believe me. There's gonna come a day, Nick, when it's gonna seem horrible to tell somebody you want to impress, like your girlfriend, your best buddy, about this special place you know about. So you let it slip. But I'll tell you, if our secret ever gets out, it's over. I don't think Springville could handle many more people like us. I don't ever want to go back there, Dad, ever. I'm going to ask you again in about 40 years. Fine. Unless you were sick. If I were sick, take me back? Yeah. Well, I think that's a decision I should make, don't you? I don't want people dying until I'm ready. If you want to play God, I don't think the position's open. Dad, what's it like to be 35? You'll see. Thank you. 